Continuing coverage now of a story we've been following since Friday. Deputies say the same man who shot two security guards to death last week also killed his stepfather and shot a police officer. WIFF News 4's Liz Lohais joins us live and local in Greenville with the very latest. Liz. Well, Carol and Nigel, I am live here at the LEC where the shooting happened about 24 hours ago. It's a much different scene tonight. It's quiet. Last night, there were many cop cars and flashing lights. Now, investigators are trying to figure out what led a 23 year old to kill three people and seriously injure an officer. Family and friends are saying their final goodbyes to Richard Ellison and Bobby Wood. Two security guards found shot to death Friday morning outside the Hollingsworth textile plant. My heart broke. My heart just like somebody took it out and cut it in 15 pieces and stomped on it. I just felt terrible. Tom Wilson attended Ellison's visitation this afternoon. The two worked together as security guards in the 90s. I've been in bed all day today crying. Because I knew I had to come here. A visitation was also held this afternoon for Wood. His family did not want to go on camera, but told us last week he was a humble man and he will be missed. This afternoon, Greenville County deputies and Greenville police held a joint news conference revealing some disturbing details. At this time, it appears that this was nothing more than a very unfortunate, senseless thrill killing. Sheriff Steve Loftus says 23-year-old Evan Bennett killed the two guards. The motive is not yet clear, but he says it appears Bennett was mentally ill. Loftus says weeks prior, Bennett had been dropping hints to his family that he may be planning a murder. But his family says they did not take the threat seriously. On Monday night, deputies say Bennett's family confronted him about possibly being involved in the double homicide at the Hollingsworth property. That's when investigators say he went into his room, put on a tactical vest, and then shot his stepfather twice in the head. For Evan Bennett and his being confronted by his family about the murders apparently pushed him over the edge. Less than an hour later, Loftus says Bennett went to the LEC and fired shots into the lobby. Then there was a confrontation with a police officer in the parking lot. That officer was shot three times. Investigators say the officer was able to fire one shot, but it did not hit Bennett. Bennett then turned the gun on himself. This has all the symptoms of suicide by cop. SLED has been called to help investigate, but deputies say they may never know why Bennett did what he did. Now, that officer is in the hospital tonight recovering with serious injuries. Deputies say when Bennett arrived here at the LEC, he was armed with a 12 gauge shotgun, a 9 millimeter gun, and a knife. Liz Lohis, WYFF News 4, live in Greenville.